Welcome to Shale's Kitchen, home of good food and good memories. Here's what's cooking in Shale's Kitchen today. Korean gochujang baked chicken wings. So here are the main ingredients for this recipe. We have our chicken wings. I've got the juice of a lemon. And those of you guys who have been following me, you know my go-to seasonings. I have my fresh ground garlic, my Worcestershire sauce, kosher salt, and coarse ground black pepper. And this is going to be our glaze for our chicken wings, gochujang. And I will list the ingredients and quantities in the description box below for you guys. The first thing we're going to do is to squeeze the juice of a lemon all over our chicken wings and I like to kind of rub the juice into the chicken wings and then I'm going to let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I'm going to rinse it under cold running water. I already rinsed the chicken wings and as you can see these are the whole chicken wings they have the wing tips on. Some people don't really like the wing tips but we do so I'm going to keep them on. If you don't like them, you can just trim them off. No worries. And they are very good for making like some chicken stock, homemade chicken stock. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the wing tip behind the drummy part of the wings. So we have this nice little uh, neat package with our wing and I'm doing this before I season them. One more. And we are ready for seasoning. I added two tablespoons of Worcester sauce, two tablespoons of fresh ground garlic, kosher salt and coarse ground black pepper to taste. And now I'm going to also add a couple tablespoons of the goji jang sauce. And I'm going to just rub this into our chicken wings. Make sure the chicken wings are nice and coated with all the seasonings. And now I'm gonna cover this with some plastic wrap and marinated overnight in the refrigerator. Remember to bring the wings to room temperature before cooking. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that my chicken wings are at room temperature, I'm going to pop them into the oven and I'm gonna bake them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 35 to 40 minutes and then we'll take a look at them and see how they're doing. The chicken wings have been baking for 35 minutes already in the oven and I think I'm going to take them out now and start the glazing process because they are going to cook a few more minutes and I don't want to overcook them. A great trick for easy cleanup is to line your baking sheet with some heavy duty foil. Now I'm just going to place a rack on the foil in the baking sheet because this is where I'm going to rest my chicken wings when they come out of the oven so that I can glaze them and pop them back in the oven. Now I'm just gonna transfer the chicken wings to my baking sheet here because this is where I'm going to put the glaze on. The gochujang sauce is in this nice squeeze bottle so what I'm gonna do, make it easier, I'm just gonna drizzle my sauce, the gochujang sauce, over the wings. So now all I need to do is just take my brush and I'm going to brush that sauce, make sure I get into all those nooks and crannies.
This looks gorgeous. I love the color of this sauce and the flavor is amazing. Great. So now this is gonna go back into the oven for about, I'm gonna say like about five minutes and then I'm gonna flip them and glaze them again. It's been five minutes, so let's see how our wings are doing. Looking beautiful. Now we just flip the wings over. Now I'm just doing the same process that I did on the other side. And now it's back in the oven for five more minutes. Wow, look at this guys. And check out how easy your cleanup is going to be after baking. Remove your foil, throw it away and look at your baking sheet. Clean as a whistle. We absolutely love chicken wings and sometimes it's nice to have an alternative that's not fried and this is the perfect one. Baked chicken wings. The best thing to do is just go in with your fingers and that's what I'm gonna do. Let's try this part first. Perfectly cooked. Guys, I can't tell you how delicious this is. Oh my gosh, I'm so easy to make. I mean, I don't know. You gotta try it. Absolutely delicious. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Shale's Kitchen, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. Thank you for spending your time with me, and I look forward to seeing you next time on Shale's Kitchen, home of good food and good memories.